So Alan and Glenda, the CDC is telling us that this is a different strain of E. coli than the one linked to the romaine lettuce outbreak. But that doesn't mean the two are not somehow connected. And that's because the, the sunflower crunch salad kit from Fresh Express contains romaine lettuce. And since the contaminated source has not yet been identified, it is a possibility that officials could trace this back to the romaine lettuce grown in the Salinas, California region that's been linked to the larger outbreak. But to be fair, it's also possible that they could trace it to another growing region or to something else entirely since the investigation is still ongoing. So we gotta get to find out more. So we're we throwing out all the sunflower crunch salad kits or what, Doc? So, Glenda, I, uh, the CDC is now recommending that you do not eat any of these salad kits with a best before date up to December 7th. So look on the bag for the UPC code. If you see the numbers, and we've got it up here, 0712793090064 with a lot code beginning with the letter Z, then you should toss it out, even if you've already eaten some of it. Please just don't take the risk because one of the people who got sick developed hemolytic uremic syndrome, which is a big name, but it's a complication which can lead to kidney failure, and that can be life-threatening. Yeah, pretty scary, Doc. So with the December 7th cutoff date, how long does it actually, actually take for people to get sick? Alan, it, it can take anywhere from two to eight days to get sick once the germ has been swallowed. And you want to keep an eye out for symptoms like severe stomach cramps, fever, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. And if you've eaten this product and developed any of these symptoms, please, please go see your doctor right away. And that's because the potential, like I said, of complications, including kidney failure with E. coli infections. So we'll keep an eye on this and let you know what, what develops. All right, doctor. Thank you so much. Hey, my pleasure. Yeah. If you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.